Once again, I have dived headfirst into the bargain bin of gaming peripherals to find the most powerful gaming device in the world. Today, though, I thought I'd go into the realm of gaming keyboards to find the true endgame peripheral. What will I unearth on this journey? Already, I've found something that fills me with joy. This is surely the final piece of my endgame gear journey. It's got a palm vacant design. Ticks the first box. Second, ergonomic palm rest again. Hold on, palm rest vacant design can effectively prevent finger arthritis and prevent palm sweating? Oh my goodness. Essential accessory for game enthusiasts. Well, that is surely me. Well, 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 there's only one thing left for us to do and that is to crack this baby open. Boy, oh boy, here it is. I have done my best to peel off the front sticker that held all of my identifying information and I think I've done a very good job. This was delivered to me exactly as is, no box, nothing else. It's like the people at Amazon decided that this was too powerful to be contained within another vessel upon delivery. Already it says, single-handedly gaming keyboard. I am very looking forward to this. Side moving light beam decoration, multi-group gameplay mode, ergonomic hand long and practical, not tired. Radium carvings, high transmittance and high recognition. Metal seamless connection shows luxury. Fast eating chicken stability with many key no conflict reaction. Oh my days. I feel like that the... What contains inside here is something... Magical. This is... First of all, this is very light. I'm I'm kind of scared to touch it. It's got a little bit of a rattle. Anything interesting on the back? You've got some nice, nice feet here. Hold on. It is, it's it's crooked. Alright, let me let me pop off a key. I hate to say it, but I don't think this keyboard's mechanical. This is terrible. This is so, so, so cheap and naff. It's insane. I cannot describe how poor quality this is. It said there was a light switch. Oh, it's, oh, it's, so, my bad. It's literally the light bulb. I mean, this feels pretty bad. The keys are terrible. I mean, it creaks at, at the slightest touch. It feels like this keyboard is in pain. So nothing's happening. It's like the actuation point is like just all the way at the bottom. And you can trigger it in between it as well. It isn't. It's, I'm pretty sure that's a, that's a membrane. So, oh, I see. So you can kind of see what they've done. It's to give the illusion of the switch. It's basically a membrane keyboard with a fake moustache. I just, I think with these, I don't really understand nor get a point where you sort of sit there and think, boy, I wish I had half a keyboard right now. Maybe if you are incredibly tight on space and then you can just swap it out when it's gamer time. Um, so yeah, actually maybe that's not so bad. Maybe, maybe that is a good idea. Okay, so I've had the unfortunate honour of um, playing with this thing for about, I could only really stomach about 30 minutes. Anything more than that, I think, would drive somebody insane. Um, first thing I notice is that it, it has zero grip. I mean, the, these, these things are made out of rubber, like you can press into them, but they just don't do anything. So that's the first thing. Um, the second thing is it, it wobbles. So when you're playing with it, um, you've also got to deal with that. Everything is just so distracting. It feels like I'm like playing on like stringy cheese, if that makes any sense. You know, sort of like cheese strings or something. It, it, it just feels like... That is the PCB on this keyboard. 
because it it just feels absolutely terrible there's no rigidness to it it's just incredibly spongy i wouldn't be surprised if i took this apart and inside it was just made out of sponge cake or something because it's just absolutely awful it really is the thing is right it, i guess it actually does fulfill its use it's a key it's half a keyboard granted when i used it i did think hey this is a bit more comfortable than having a full size keyboard because i can have my hands close together and it's a little bit more comfortable for ergonomics however when using the keyboard and it feels like every single time you press down on the key that your insides are screaming to you to stop what you're doing um i really do feel like that's not really a good trade-off overall for the price i can't recommend this keyboard to anybody unless you you know you want to get a gift to someone like your grandson or like a cousin who's 10 and you absolutely hate them you hate them so so much 